vegetable state. Oh man, every single day I get home, I feel so tired, washed up. I'm excited every morning, you know? I go to work, I drive in, I'm trying. I get in, I do my thing. And then after two hours I get in, I wait for the day to end, I'm excited. Just wanna go back home to my husband and my cat. And then I get in front of my house and I just feel like my balloon de deflated, you know? Two hours go, two hours come. And I get home, and boy am I tired, I have nothing left. Welcome to Vivi's View. What's up, people? What's up? This is Vivi from Vivi's View. As I said before, vegetarian state. We go to these jobs and we come home and we have nothing left. And I've had a very long discussion with my husband and we have been trying to figure out what we can do. What different method or methods can we use to try to get some, you know, some of the time for ourselves. It seems to me and I know that I'm not the only one, you know, who goes in to work trying to do your best to be grateful for the job and everything, but somehow you come out and you're burnt, you're spent. I know I'm not the only one. But you see, we can't give everything to the jobs. We have to be able to come home and take care of ourselves, take care of our house, take care of our, our, our families and, and pay the bills and what's not, right? It is not a success, uh, successful method if we fail at the home things, All right? So we've given some thought to this and I feel that we need to move a little earlier. At least this is what I started doing. I find that in the morning, I have the best energy, right? I notice that by the end of the day, when I come home, I have nothing left. So basically, I'm giving the job everything. I'm giving them the best of me. So what I started doing, very, very sacrificial here, but I've done it for years because I had to study, you know? I was in medical school and it was a hard thing. And so I know about getting up early. So I started, instead of getting up at five, I started moving at 4.30. And from 4.30 to about five, 5.15, that is my time, you know? I get to sit relax, you know, think my thoughts, get on my treadmill, you know, because by the time I get home in the afternoon, I don't want to see no, no, no treadmill. And, and it's in the house. I paid for it and I need to lose my weight and it's just a mess. So this is what I've been doing. And my husband has a different kind of sleep pattern than me, but he noticed that I'm getting some success from it. So he started to move a little early too, you know? And so I get up earlier when I get to work, I know that I've already put in my exercise routine. I know that I was able to do some writing. I know that I was able to look at some of my, you know, topics that I'm going to share for the week. I basically give myself the best of me. And then I get to work and I give, you know, what is honest. Because if you notice, they have begun to give us years ago when the recession hit, they started piling like three and four people's work on our desk and it never changed, right? So I have to find a way to pull back because things have gotten better, but they didn't pull back. So I have to think of myself, all right? And I, I'm just gonna throw this out there to you that you may have to make some changes because when we drop, they always just cart us out and start looking for somebody else, you know? So we have to take care of ourselves as numero uno. And then we don't cheat. We just give them, you know, give them what is, what is their due. 
you know, we know we have five and six and eight people's jobs on our desk. We do the best we can. And when the day ends, it ends. Hey, I'll start tomorrow. But this vegetable state business, it has got to come to an end. And the only way, guys, is for us to take the bull by the horn and say, you know what? I'm not giving them all of me. I need to keep some for myself. It's like getting a paycheck and saying that you're not going to give all to the people that you owe and leave yourself broke. All right. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. I know you had a choice and you know, there's so much going on, on, on the net. You didn't have to come to my channel, but I appreciate that you did. And I just want to thank you. I ask you to share, make some comments. All right. And subscribe. Always a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon.